Just rush them, crush them, rush them and crush them. All right, guys, here we are back again. I just uh, battled this guy, Black Bloodlust, previously. Uh, if you saw my video, I apologize. That's the video where I played as the dwarves and he's all artillery and I just got stomped. Uh, I saw it coming, I just figured I'd try it anyway, whatever. So I just wanted to do a quickie and just do another one with this guy. Um, and again, just another stupid strategy. Uh, what I'm doing here is just going entirely White King. Uh, and they'll be on their barded steeds, and they'll be supported by Crypt Horrors. So uh, they're playing as the Dwarves this time, so we have a faction swap going on. Um, yeah, my strategy here... I'm not really sure what my strategy is. Maybe what I'll do is try to cut through the trees. So the Dwarves are always heavily armored, which is why I brought these Crypt guys right here. Uh, and then, the, uh, as everyone knows, the White Kings are melee specialists. And then I brought Von Karstein, obviously. So here we go. Here's all my White Kings and Von Karstein. Try to keep these guys together. I get these Crypt Horrors. Okay. What we might do... I'm thinking what I might do is... Let's try to send these White guys through the woods. And leave the uh, crypt guys out here for almost like a uh, almost like a decoy. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So I'll keep these guys here and eventually move them forward. And while I'm doing that, I'll bring the the white kings uh, up through the trees. All right, let's see what the dwarves got. And they're right up close. Okay. Alright, so I'm just out of range of their artillery, which is good. Let's see what they're bringing. Bunch of cannons. Hammers. Hammers for days, apparently. I'm not sure how the White Kings are going to hold up to them. They got Runesmith. They got Ironhide over here. Some miners. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and hang out. I'm pretty sure these guys are still hidden. Yeah, they're looking good. Looks like they're going to go ahead and try to move up, which is fine. I'll just keep backing them up. Just got to sneak these guys around. I'll send them up over the hill. Hopefully uh, they're not discovered. And once I once I attack, then I'll send the crypt uh, guys forward. See what happens. Oh, almost in range. Like We'll back up a little bit. There we go. That's probably annoying every time you move up. The uh, enemy just goes right, right outside your range. I'm not sure how I feel about being able to see the artillery of the enemy. That's almost like cheating a little bit. You can see the uh, red lines right there. Yeah. Alright, here we go. We got my guys slowing down a little bit, walking up this hill through the forest. I hope they don't get exposed right here. At this point, they have to assume that I have some other kind of units. Oh, and they're exposed. That was... Really bad on my part. Hopefully he's not paying attention. He probably is, almost guaranteed. Maybe. Maybe not. It doesn't look like he's adjusting. It looks like I'm good. Let's go for it. Look at like look at the ring. Okay, move back a little bit. This is probably frustrating for him. He's probably like, what is this guy doing? He probably thinks I'm a huge noob, especially after that previous battle. That was so bad. This is probably going to be so bad also. I have no idea how these White Kings hold up against uh, Hammers. Probably not that great, honestly. But if I can engage the cannons, I can bring my Crypt Horrors forward and hopefully do some mega damage. Oh, there we go. That's pretty cool. Oh, I'm in range. Back up. These guys regenerate health, so we'll be good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and keep all these guys together. All right, here we go. I'm not sure if you'll see them coming until the last second. Hopefully we can get away with it. I'm gonna go ahead and use my speed bonus. There we go. Sending these guys in. Now I'm moving this army forward. Let's get Von Karstein up here. Well, what I'm gonna do with him is uh. 
Just do the old spirit leech tactic. Alright, let's go guys. Hopefully they don't get bogged down too much. Looks like they're making alright time. White Kings aren't taking too much damage. Uh, they're looking alright, I think. I wonder if it'd be worth it to go ahead and target this guy. Actually, let's go ahead and just pull back. Uh, we're on horseback, they're not. It'll give us time for our units to, uh, to catch up. I'm trying to pull out. Come on, guys, get out. They're almost out of here. Pulling back. Looks like they're moving the Runesmith in, maybe trying to slow me down. That's fine. These guys are almost here. I'll go ahead and then recharge once they turn around to face uh, the Crypt Horrors. Send these guys just right into that mass of dwarf troops right there. Try to take out these uh, cannons. Silence these miners over here. Uh, car sign looks like he's about to get off the Spirit Leech. If he hasn't, nope, Spirit Leech is going right now. Okay, let's go ahead and get these guys back in. We'll concentrate on that Runesmith, take him out. We're probably going to lose this guy, which, which is unfortunate, but fine. Let's get Von Carson up here, engage his coilers. Alright, we got Spirit Leech back. We're just going to keep spamming this. I'm definitely not the biggest fan of the Spirit Leech strategy. I think it's kind of cheesing almost. Let's go ahead and get these White Kings back in here. This guy's broken. He's basically done. Let's go ahead and concentrate these Crypt Horrors on the uh, Hammers. The Miners should just be just about done. Bring everyone in. Focus what we can. I'd really like to take out their uh, their Iron Hide right here. I should have no Spirit Leaves. Here we go. My car sign's actually not doing that great against uh, the coilers by themselves. I'm gonna go ahead and just back him out a little bit. Alright, here we go. Get him up here. Cast a little buff. Where's their generate? I'm not sure where he's at. It's hard to see so many units right now. There he is, almost dead. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and finish him off. And right after that, we'll go ahead and cast the uh, Invocation to heal everyone up. Let's go ahead and get my car sent up in here as well. Here we go, Invocation. We'll do the Overcast. Healing everyone up. We're looking good at this point. I uh, wasn't sure how the strategy was going to work, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I definitely think it helped that I was able to sneak my White Kings around the, the backside. They definitely weren't expecting that. They should have noticed right away that the army in front of them was lacking units. And uh, they should have suspected that I had something else going on, either a flying unit or something in the woods. But fortunately for me, they didn't. Uh, because of my horrible performance uh, the last battle, they probably just assumed that I was just not good at all. I'm going to go ahead and save that replay. I'm not even sure what what number I'm on. Yeah, end this battle. Let's take a look at the stats real quick. Yeah, uh, I only brought in 73 units. They brought in almost 1,000. Took about half of them out. Spear Leech is such an OP spell, but... I mean, when you got to use it, you got to use it. So I was able to take out their Lord with the armor piercing uh, ability of the Crypt Horrors. Uh, I was able to do tons of damage to their hammers. And the White Kings are just excellent melee specialists. So I uh, wasn't sure how this was going to work. It worked out good. And uh, I'll probably use some form of it again in the future just to try it out. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, peace.